Hi, my name is Jack, and this is a really boring enemy. All it really does is move directly towards you, and it's hard to go around, and just, there's no style. The only way my game Gorgulin can be any fun is if the enemies are at least good. And there's a few ways we can do that, and once we combine all of them, it will look pretty cool. Acceleration is the first big one. The previous enemy was problematic because it could instantly turn any way it wanted to. In this example, the blue arrow shows the enemy's velocity, and the green arrow shows its desired velocity. The boring enemy from earlier had effectively infinite acceleration, which looks like this. It's pretty jarring. If we set the acceleration to a reasonable amount, you can see the enemy has some pretty smooth movement. Both of these enemies have the exact same top speed, the only difference is that one of them has a greater acceleration. Let's see if you can tell which one has which. Another way we can make enemies more interesting is through something I call coin gravity. All we have to do to implement this is apply an acceleration toward the coin, represented by this yellow arrow. When we add coin gravity to an enemy, it makes their movement a bit more defensive. Something we could also do is make it so the enemy wants to go away from the coin. This might be useful. Something you have to worry about is if the acceleration towards the coin is greater than the acceleration towards the player, the enemy will pretty much puppy guard the coin, which isn't fun. Finally, we have future prediction. Now, I know what you're thinking. Predicting the future is hard, but the less you care about accuracy, the easier it becomes. This red crosshair represents where the enemy is moving toward, and to get a rough estimate of where the player will be, we can move the crosshair along the player's velocity. The simple change makes our enemy a lot better at keeping up with the player. It's actually kind of scary. We can also make it so the enemy goes to where the player was in the past, this is not useful. Now that we have an enemy that combines all of those things, all we have to do now is add a bunch of them. That's pretty much it. Make sure to like, comment, and sub- Oh, they're all bunching up. So, since all of the enemies have pretty much exactly the same stats, and they don't affect each other, they'll all combine into one enemy, which is pretty lame. We can fix this by randomly adding or subtracting to each stat. And now that we've done that, the enemies spread out pretty nicely.